I believe them sixes. I'm not. You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind the Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to be a part of the team. Yeah. If you win a 7-1, boy, make that bitch run. If you win a 7-2, make it do what it do. If you win a 7-3, see it slide like a G. What's good, fam? Another day, another video. What's good, fam? What's going on, man? Another beautiful day down here in Miami, Florida. You hear me? Today, we at Coast to Coast Customs, Jimmy. Shout out to Coast to Coast Customs. For y'all who don't know, I'm currently on my, I think, sixth set of wheels on my car. And I believe like the last four sets, Coast to Coast been mounting my wheels on my four door, man. Coast to Coast, man. Shout out to Coast to Coast. But yeah, man, we down here. Them boys is putting in that work. We came to check them out and see what's going on, you hear me? There's currently a couple things going on around here, man. So we're going to go ahead on and just jump into it and see what's going on, you hear me? All right, fam. Over here at Coast to Coast behind me, we got the 72 vert that they working on, you hear me? Total customization work, you hear me, to get the thing looking right, you hear me? Let's take a look at what's going on. All right, fam, here we go. We got the 72 vert sitting on the lift. I want to show you guys what they got going on over here at Coast to Coast. Here's what I want to show you. Y'all won't be able to tell what's going on at first. You feel me? You won't be able to tell what's going on at first, but I'm gonna show you, understand me? Now let's take a look at it. Okay, so basically you got this car right here going 28. Down here at Coast to Coast, 28, right? So y'all remember in one of the previous video, I was talking to you guys about getting the car fitted for big wheels first before you get it painted, which is what they are doing over here. And then over here, as you can see what they did, this car is going 28, right? Sometimes you go certain places and they cut the car and they leave it, the edges all jagged, you know, a little raggedy. It look like it's been cut. But as you can see what they did right here, to make it fit 28 so no problem they cut it right they cut piece off and then they put the edge back on and re-weld it and make it look like factory so now the fender doesn't look all jagged with the jagged edge and you know looking like somebody butchered it they did it on this side too they cut the fender right they uh cut piece out of it and then put the edge back on it and welded it back so therefore, you feel me? Your fenders still look factory. And that's definitely something I can respect because I done seen some cars cut and they look chopped up. You know what I mean? You, that that look, that you know what I'm saying? It just is not a good look when you have a car and you can look at it and you can see that the fender's been cut. You understand me? Coast to coast, man. They doing their thing down here, man. They fitting this car 72 vert for 28s, man. I can't wait to see the finished product, man. Coast to coast, man, they doing a thing, you hear me? Look at it. And basically, they doing it the correct way because that's what you're supposed to do before you take the car to get painted. You don't want to get the car painted and then come back and get it cut. You feel me? That way they welded it. It looks natural. Now, when they paint it, you won't even be able to tell that it's been cut, man. Real talk. Shout out to my people that coast to coast, man. All right, fam, over here we got this G-Body behind me. Real clean looking G-Body. Looking real good. Where my G-Body lovers at, man? I need y'all to drop them comments. I know we got them don't lovers out there. But where my G-Body lovers at, man? Y'all drop them comments for this G-Body right here. Let's take a look at it, you hear me? As you can see, man, it's a Buick Regal Limited. You hear me? Real clean, real clean. Real clean, with the quarter top on there, half top, whatever you want to call it. Might be sitting on folds or something. I'm trying to 
trying to look for the tire size. I think it's sitting on foes. Real clean G body, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. This G body right here is beautiful due to the fact that every single piece is on here from what I can see so far, man. Every single piece is on here from what I can see so far. You feel me? From the rubbers on the bumper to the I forget what they call it, piece. I forget what they call it. Damn. Bumper fillers. Bumper fillers. You feel me? Sometimes you might see them and they look clean. But they might missing the bumper fillers. And you feel me? Believe it or not, folks. Believe it or not. Bumper fillers. Not having bumper fillers take away from your car. If you have a car that's supposed to have bumper fillers and you missing them. Real talk, man. Real talk. Believe it or not, fam, I can't stand for a car that's supposed to have bumper fillers to be missing the bumper fillers. Like, it looks so ugly to me, you feel me? Like, the car could be a beautiful car, but just the fact it's missing the bumper fillers, it looks ugly, you understand me? So make sure y'all got them bumper fillers in them cars, you hear me? Whether it be a G-Body, whether it be a Donk, whether it be a box Chevy, you feel me, for all the cars that got bumper fillers, man. That's one reason I love the 71 Donks too. Ain't no bumper fillers in the 71. You feel me? Real talk, man, real talk. Clean G-Body, man. I think it's sitting on foes, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all drop them comments. Over here, fam, behind me, we got a nice box Chevy, you hear me? Where my box Chevy lovers at, man? Y'all drop them comments, man. Shout out to them box Chevy boys, you hear me? It's a box Chevy world as well. Also with a don't planet, you hear me? It's a don't planet, it's a box Chevy world, you feel me? That's what it is. But let's take a look at this box, man. I love them boxes. Let's take a look at this. Beautiful paint on there. It's a pearl. Like I always say, that pearl will change your world. With some gold wheels on there. Some gold wheels, gold sixes on there to be exact. Shout out to them box Chevy boys, man. Down here at Coast to Coast. I don't know what exactly is being done to it. I don't know if they just mounted the wheels or what have you. My man Jay on the inside, he busy, got customers coming back and forth, so he can't really talk right now. So I'm assuming they got the wheels mounted on. They the one that mounted the wheels on. Uh, you feel me? Other than that, man, as you can see, y'all see that pearl in that paint? Y'all see that pearl in that paint? You hear me? Pearl in that paint? Yes, sir. Sitting on them gold wheels on there, man. Y'all drop them comments. Where my box Chevy lovers at, man? I started with a box Chevy too, yeah? Just like I was saying in my previous video, man. I'm going to eventually get back in the box Chevy game. I got to have the LS top, though. I got to have that half top on there. That quarter top on there, yeah? I can't wait to jump in the box game, boy. I can't wait to jump back in it. First, I'm going to get all my don't situated. I'm going to get my photo. I'm gonna get my convertible situated. Then I'm gonna jump back in a box game, yeah? I'm gonna jump back in a box game. I gotta come with that LS top, that quarter top on there. Shout out to all them boys out there sliding in them boxes. I see y'all boys, you hear me? That pearl paint job, man. That pearl will change your world, you hear me? Fam, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. It's hot outside, but we about to go inside, Jimmy. There's some specific wheels that I wanted to show you guys, Jimmy. So let's go on in here, man. Go in the AC, man. Here they go right here, fam. 26 is a Santis 5500 whip tire stagger for a donk, you hear me? Chrome lip, brush face. Ready to go, fam. Down here, coast to coast. Tell them don't plan a century, you hear me? Just 
definitely a dope design. All right, fam, over here behind me, we got the pink 1973 Chevy Caprice convertible, you hear me? Pink, you hear me? It's a lot of dudes out there feel comfortable rocking that pink, so I need to know y'all opinion on this one. Y'all drop in the comments, let me know, you hear me? But here we go. That's that pink 73 convertible. Sitting on, I believe them sixes, I'm not sure. But it's a pink pearl. It's a little dirty, but ain't nothing that a little uh, soap and water won't fix, you hear me? That big got the ostrich top on there. It got the ostrich top on there. How y'all feel about that ostrich top, man? Got the ostrich on there, yeah? Costa Costa was doing suspension work on it. I believe they're almost done with it. I'm not sure. I know they did suspension work to this car, definitely. You hear me? I don't know what's next. I don't know if they're done. But as you can see, man, it's that pink pearl paint on there. You hear me? Man, I ain't gonna lie, these look bigger than sixes. I could be, I don't think these sixes. They look kinda huge. You hear me? Oh, these eights. They the size right there. These eights on there, these eights on this mug, you hear me? Oh, okay, so I see what they did. So they did the same thing over here too. That's why the edges are in a primer because the eights on here. So what they did, they cut the fender. You feel me? Cut some off of it and then uh, put the edge back on. Well, did it? And you feel me? Put that prime on there. Now it look like a natural. You feel me? Now when the car get painted, I believe the car got to get painted again. It ain't gonna have that jagged edge on there. You understand me? It ain't gonna have that butchered edge on there. But y'all see it, man. They also did the brakes on there. They got the big calipers on there. Yeah, the big yellow calipers on there. Coast to coast did that. Fam, I wish it was more space around the car. Them boys backed up, man. Them boys got work, you feel me? Cars close to each other, so. I really wanted to get a distant shot of this so y'all can get a better view. You understand me? But it's all good. Y'all get the picture. That pink pearl with them big yellow brakes on there, man. That pearl peak on eight. But yeah, fam, what I wanted to tell y'all as well is drop me comments. I don't know if this is, uh, basically I want to know, man, some dudes out there that don't feel comfortable rocking that pink. How you feel about having the pink don't? I mean, me personally, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I just want to know y'all opinion. How y'all feel about having a pink don't, you hear me? Y'all drop me comments on that. Drop me comments. Let me know how y'all feel about that, you hear me? There you have it, folks. There you have it, Jimmy. As you can see, that work is being put in, you hear me? That's that behind the scenes footage, you hear me? That behind the scenes footage of them cars getting put in the game, you hear me? But yeah, folks, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep it locked right here. Don't plan to lie behind the scenes, you hear me? <laughs>